Ooh. Hey everybody, it's Goddess Jillian. Welcome to my infrared sauna vlog where I sit in my infrared sauna and sweat bullets, which is what I'm doing now. And I talk about spiritual and re relevant topics that help me keep my focus and keep me positive and manif manifesting all the abundance that we all deserve in our lives, right? By our divine right. Holy cow. <laughs> Today was a really challenging day. Today's day, well, today is day 13, actually, of my quarantine. <sighs> Five days of self-imposed and then, whatever, eight days of mandatory stay at home. And I, for one, have taken this really seriously because, partly because I do psychic readings and what I'm seeing is just not a pretty picture in general and that, I, you know, I don't know how else to say it, but we got to buckle down and go under this wave and the wave is that what they're showing me in my readings, it is symbolic for this wave that you see on the graph. We got to flatten out the wave and we got to flatten out the curve and we got to just buckle down. And I feel like that it's been tricky for me because I don't want to be a naysayer and I don't want to, you know, spew negativity or, or incite fear because the reality is you don't have to be afraid if you take, if you look at the facts and you do what you need to do to quarantine, you know? And I know there are situations out there where people are really gonna start to get pretty intensely panicked because of money and food and, and necessities where they're gonna have to have them and they don't have the money for them. But that's the second part of this whole dilemma. The first part is getting people to realize the seriousness of this dang virus. And today I had the very, very, very unfortunate experience of having to make a decision um, not to let my daughter come back home because she's been in Los Angeles with her father and he is not, in my opinion, taking this at all seriously. And so I had to tell her that because of some issues that I have had and have had and, and still have, I am really it's really important for me not to get it okay and as the hospitals fill up and things become a little bit more intense here over the next couple of weeks which they will um the thought of even having to try to navigate the medical system at this point is just like you don't want to do that you don't want to have to deal with this thing not when there's a whole massive amount of other people that need real help Okay. And so the trick is just not to get it right now. You know, if you get it later when it's not a freaking pandemic, you can go to the hospital and get treatment and get attention and get focused. On this is going to be a, a shit show here in a minute and people are not taking it seriously. So that's enough of my rant, but I really had to definitely make the decision today to protect myself because if my daughter who's 18 gets it, she's probably going to be fine. You know? I suppose there's a risk, but her father refuses to look at any risk and he's selfish and they, you know, that's their decision and that's their path. I am powerless over them. I'm only able to control myself and my reaction to it. And at first I admit I got really panicked and upset and I had to get back to my center and connect with my guides and spirit and just be at peace and understand that I am not in control of anybody but myself and how I react and her decision to keep wanting to go back and forth and to do, go out and, you know, do things with, you know, I mean, they're not being totally cavalier, but to go to the store because they're running out of food. But I'm like, why don't you put two weeks of food in the fridge? Um, anyway, there will be some choices that we have to make for our own health and well-being and safety. And they won't be easy, but make the right choice because if you protect yourself, in turn, you're protecting others. And so that's what I had to do today. And so I don't know if that gave anybody any insight except for that. <sighs> Try to maintain your peace and calm and serenity and faith. These are times when you really have to have faith and you have to let go and let God because... I could have literally gone down the rabbit hole thinking about my daughter down there 
with a Cavalier dad and not being able to do anything about it. I literally, it was overwhelming. And so I had to come to a place of acceptance. And there's going to have to be a lot of acceptance in this too. And so these are all lessons, you know. I know all of us are probably over the god dang lessons. We had enough of that crap in 2018 and 2019. Jesus freaking. Oh God, sorry. Fuck. But come on. <laughs> like, really? Is this the final hurrah? Is this it? What is it? Anyway, I'm sorry. It was just a really emotional and challenging day. And hopefully, just by me talking about it, I'll be able to have more peace about it and more acceptance about it and more understanding about it and more faith in God, my higher power, that it's all going to be fine. So I hope you're all being safe, quarantining. I hope you're all stocked up and fed. And I'm going to send blessings and prayers to all of you. I put up a donation on my goddessjillian.com website so that you can donate food to people in need. And if you have even $5 extra, go for it. And if you need food or supplies or anything essentials and you don't have the funds because you've been out of work, go online and find places that are donating or, or institutions or companies or places, food banks, whatever, so that you don't have to get into a place of desperation. Okay? Be proactive. Okay? Don't wait for the government either. Okay, so please be safe. Please subscribe. We're going to get through this together and I hope everybody... I just can breathe. <gasps>